Hello Stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. Today I'm going to feature a brand new technique to me. It's called debossing with blends. I have been wanting to do this for so long and I finally sat down and made a really pretty card for you. This is part of my online technique club. I'll give you all the details for that when we get into making the card and doing the technique. Let's flip the camera around and get started. For the debossing with blends technique, I am going to be using the Park, the Petal Park Builder Punch. I just needed a flower. You could definitely substitute any type of flower, whether it's a punch or a die. I'm gonna be using Lemon Lime Twist, Tuxedo Black Memento ink. I've got the In Color Shimmer Dots. These are brand new in colors. I'm using the Eyelet 3D Embossing Folder, as well as the Layered Florals 3D Embossing Folder. And I'm going to be using the Happy Little Things stamp set. I liked the size of the sentiments in the stamp set. While this stamp set does come with a set of dies that are called Happy Little Thing dies, I am not going to be using those today, but you can get this as a bundle. It is one of our online exclusive products that you can only find in my online store, which by the way, is at this link. You're gonna find my online store on my blog. Also, I just wanted something for the envelope. So I wanted a leaf and this was a nice big leaf. I love the texture of this leaf from the translucent floral stamp set. And again, this is also an online exclusive product. So let's bring in our layers here. Just gonna move some things out of my way so I have some room to work. Now, like I said, this is part of my online technique club. So each month, Technique Club members get a card that I make as well as an instruction sheet with a sample of the technique on it. I'm gonna start out with a basic white thick card base. This is five and a half by eight and a half and I've scored it at four and a quarter. And by the way, you will find all of the dimensions and still photos on my blog. And the link to that is right in this video. So go check it out. It's always nice to have a reference point. I'm also going to be using our new Pretty in Pink. This is one of our new in colors. This is four by five and a quarter. And then I've got a strip of Pretty in Pink that is three quarters by five and a quarter. Another strip that's three quarters by four and a quarter two basic white layers. The smaller of the two is two and three quarters by three and three quarters. This is what we're gonna do our technique on. The larger one is a mat for our technique layer that's three by four. And then I've got a scrap of basic white here. So I think what we'll do, first thing, we are going to do our technique. I'm gonna take the smaller of those two basic white layers now, it's important for this technique, it works a lot better if you're using one of our very thick 3D embossing folders. These definitely emboss deeper than a regular folder. And I am going to put my layer in here. Now, I want one of these big flowers to be kind of the focal point of my technique. So you can kind of move it around any place you want in here. I am going to be putting a banner across the bottom part. So I'm thinking right here would be good. Got a big flower there. I want my big flower to be a little more towards the top. This would be good. And I think I'll go with this right here. And I am going to put this through my die cut and emboss machine. I'll be right back. Okay, here comes our layer. So with the debossing with blends technique, this is the raised side of the cardstock. We're gonna go to the debossed or the indented side of the cardstock. And this technique is just so fun. I'm going to use the um, Daffodil Delight Dark. I've got Lemon Lime Twist Dark and also 
light, pretty pink here. These are just the colors that I chose. And of course you can use any colors that work for you. So I'm gonna go around and just color in the centers of these little flowers. And I think I got all of them there. Now I'm going to do the center of the bigger flowers so it has these little wispy parts. I don't know what you call them. <laughs> I don't know what they're called. They're just pretty. I just like pretty things. Next, I'm going to take the green and that's where we're gonna come in and color the leaves. Well, one of the nice things about this technique is you do not have to be real careful with your coloring. For example, if you get onto the top and not just stay in the indented part, you can see this is pretty messy, right? Where I just colored that leaf. You do not need to worry about that because we're gonna cover that up. So that's what makes this so cool, I think. One of the reasons is you don't have to be real careful. So I'm just gonna go around and pick out all the green leaves here, and rather than bore you with my coloring and chit chat, <laughs> I don't know if I'm really ever that boring, um, I will be right back. Okay, I think I have all of the leaves colored in, and again, you can see that my coloring isn't perfect, not to be, don't worry about that. Now I'm gonna come in with the light, pretty, and pink, and I'm going to color my large flowers. Now, one of the things that I learned as I was doing this is um, I'm pretty sure I do not wanna use my large brush tip end on my blends. The reason is, is it is a little more delicate. This, this end, the writing end or the smaller end seems to be um, made of a harder material. And I think if I use the brush end, going over all of these bumps in the embossing would wear it down fairly quickly. And I wanna keep that end as nice and pointed and pristine as possible. So while, you know, it seems like in these bigger areas it would be a better option to use the, the brush end, I am choosing not to because I don't think it would be good for my blend. And it doesn't seem to hurt this, this end at all. Like, I'm not tearing this up. And I've made several of these cards. So again, I'm just going to go around and color in all of these big flowers with the pink and I'll be right back. Now you want to make sure that you're getting all these little edge pieces too. And if you happen to miss something that you wished you would have colored, don't worry, you can go back and touch it up. It's very easy, not a big deal. Okay, I think I have everything colored. Now, this part is a little messy, okay? We're going to take this Memento Black ink and we are going to do a technique that is called direct to paper. So I'm going to hold my layer down and I am going to drag my ink pad right across that paper. And you can see this beautiful pop of color and how amazing it is. And you wanna be careful so you don't bend it like I just did, but I'm just gonna go through until I feel like I've got all my white areas. You can tip your ink pad to, you know, make it hit those areas that I've missed right here. You wanna be careful with your fingers. You, you are gonna get some ink on your fingers. You don't wanna set them back into your white flowers or your pink flowers or your green. So you definitely wanna be careful about that. A little bit more right there. Oh my goodness, look how pretty that is. Isn't that just so stunning? So let me get this out from my messy piercing mat. I'll bring another one in here so we don't have a big mess to look at. Now some of the black is going to get into your flowers and that's okay, it just adds some depth. If you were gonna make several of these, I would definitely color all of them and do the black all at once. And then I'm going to take a baby wipe or go wash your hands because I've got other layers here that I do not want to get black ink on. 
we're going to set this aside and we're going to continue with the rest of our card. So this layer is our four by five and a quarter pretty in pink. And then this is our three quarters by five and a quarter pretty in pink. I'm bringing in the eyelet 3D embossing folder. And I always like to match my layers up with the line that is by the logo. This is gonna be the embossed side. And I'm going to emboss this. And then I'm going to place this strip Again, on the line, but I want to make sure that I am getting an entire strip of those eyelids on, on this three-quarter inch strip of cardstock. So hang tight. I'll be right back. Here comes our embossed strip and our embossed layer. We're going to do a little stamping now. The first thing I would like to do is stamp the inside of my card. And like I said, I'm using the Happy Little Things. This is a fun little bundle, but I love that we have outline letters for Celebrate and Solid. So you could stamp this inside of there, or you can take this and color different colors with a marker. But all of these sentiments in here, a few little fun elements. And then these little labels match up with the size of these smaller um, sentiments in here. So lots of fun with happy little things. And again, you're not going to find this in any of our catalogs. It is in the online store only. So you would just type in the little search blank, happy little things. This embossed layer is going to go right on the inside of my card. I always like to decorate the inside of my card. I just feel like it's something that we ha can do easily. And I definitely want people to open the card and have something pretty to look at. So I'm going to stamp, you did it. And of course, you could use any sentiment that you wanted for this. But I'm just laying this in place so that I know where to place that sentiment. I have my multi-purpose liquid glue. This is what I choose to adhere pieces together with. I like it because it has... It gives you wiggle room. It doesn't just stick down and you have to rip it up if you need to move it. You can move it around easily. So this is the inside. Now we're gonna put the other embossed layer on the front. And I like to add that glue all the way around the outside edges because when you emboss, your cardstock tends to buckle on the sides and I don't want that happening. So I'm gluing it down so I don't have any of that buckling. Okay, so pretty, right? Next, we're gonna stamp our front sentiment. And um, my inside says, inside says, you did it. This says, you are incredible. And I plan to use these for some cards to give to my team for accomplish accomplishments that they make. Yay, you are incredible. Now I stamped it off to the side because that's where this little scrap comes in and my flower punch. And again, you can use any flower punch. I just chose this one because it's got about the right size flower that I want to put on the front of my card. And I am going to put my technique layer together. And again, glue all the way around the outside because it is an embossed layer. And this white is just going to make everything pop. I just thought, oh, white, that's the color I need. This should be dry by now, so you're not going to have any ink on your fingers. This piece is going to be put right over almost to the edge, the, the right side edge, with just leaving a little bit of that pink out there. I'm centering it from top to bottom. We're going to put this on some Stampin' Dimensionals. Ooh, I got a brand new sheet here. It's always fun. And I'm gonna add three of these. So this is a long layer, I want it to have good support. And then here comes my Take Your Pick tool. If you watch me, you know this is one of my favorite tools. I use it kind of as an extension of my hand because I do so many things with it. I'm gonna pop that right down here. Isn't this pretty? And then we're gonna take that little white flower and I'm gonna add it right over here in this empty space. 
This is where our shimmer gems come into play. I'm gonna grab one of these large pink ones and I'm gonna put that right in the center. Good grief, we're almost done. One last thing, where'd my envelope go? Right here. I like a little something on my envelope. Now, I could emboss the um, flap, but I thought I'll add a little color. We used the dark lemon lime twist for our, our leaves on our technique. So I'm going to, let me see if I can find this. I'm going to grab my ink pad and I just chose a leaf stamp that I thought would look very pretty on here. And there we go. Isn't that beautiful? Love, love this. So here is our technique card. This technique again is debossing with blends. And my technique club is a monthly club. And each, each month, the members of this club will get this card in the mail and they will also get this instruction sheet that has a little sample of the technique on it so they can get a visual and also some very basic instructions. It has a link to my blog and the date that this video is posted. So this one is on five, um, May 29th, 2024. They can go to my blog, they can scroll down to this date and they will find this video. So it makes it really easy to go back and revisit that. Now, after you have been in the club for a while, you're gonna collect a whole bunch of these cards and that's really fun, right? You will be able to keep these, you know, put a, th um, a, a punch a hole in it, put it on a ring. You'll have a whole little booklet of them so that when you sit down to stamp, you will be able to draw from all of these different techniques and go crazy, right? Now, my online technique club requires an order placed once a month between the 1st and the 25th of the month. You must use the current host code, and my host code is listed on the right-hand column of my blog every month. It changes periodically, at least monthly, so you have to go there and look for the code. When you place your order, you, there's a place on the order um, online to put the code. Your order must be at least $25 before tax and shipping. At the end, end of six consecutive months, you will be able to get a $30 reward. So it's same as cash. You can um, give me your reward form. There's a reward form that you fill out showing all of your orders and you will get a th to choose 30 or you will be able to spend $30 with me in the online store. If you go over the $30, that's fine. I just invoice you through PayPal for the difference. And this program, the $30 credit, is only going to last as long as Stampin' Up! continues to carry the host code rewards. We have been told that that is going to be ending probably sometime within the next year. When that happens, don't worry. You will still get a free catalog from me. You will get the card and the Technique Club instructions in the mail each month and that will be the reward. Thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me. You'll find my email address right on my blog or kelly at stampabove.com. I am always happy to, ha happy to help you out. Goodness, words are hard today. And if you would like to join the club, all you have to do is pop me an email at that email address and let me know, I would like to join your online club and I will add you to that membership and send you all the details in an email. Thanks so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day to spend with me. Bye-bye.